Good morning, campers. This is Crusader Rabbit KBNY 5962 starting our broadcasting day. And today, for your viewer enjoyment, bringing you the Minox 35GT 35mm film camera. And as we open the lovely case that the camera came with, we can take out our Minox 35. And as you can see, it's a uh, very small camera. This is a this is a quarter. Let's see. This is a uh, 35 millimeter film can. So as you can see, it's just barely tall enough to be able to handle the transport of a 35 millimeter film. Starting from the top of the camera, I guess we'll go uh, top down. This is a, uh, by, by the way, this is a zone focusing camera. It, it has a viewfinder. It has a collapsible lens. So the, you can see how the lens protrudes and then when you bring this up, the lens collapses back inside of the camera body. So the viewfinder is strictly just a viewfinder. There's no there's no focusing mechanism on the camera except for on the lens where you can zone focus. Now you can focus to your exact distance or you can do zone focusing. Uh, this will focus from three feet all the way to infinity and if you're at f16 then this camera will be in focus from anywhere from 5 feet uh, to infinity, which is basically where I took probably 90% of the pictures. And then the, the other adjustment here on the camera is the aperture adjustment ring right here. And the aperture goes from f2.8 all the way to f16. And if we can if we can see here, I think it's a uh, two blade aperture. I don't know if you can uh, I, don't, I don't know if you're able to see that. As it, as it opens and closes. There's only like two blades to that aperture. Yeah, okay. The lens itself is uh, f2.8 and it's a 35 millimeter uh, color minotaur lens. And let's see, also on the front of the camera here, uh, besides the lens, we have the battery compartment, which takes uh, four <coughs> LR44 batteries. And if you look, I looked in the owner's manual and it said it took like a P27X. I, I can't see it around here. I tried it and it didn't fit. So uh, mine takes uh, four LR44s. And then over here on this side, we have a little red button, which is the uh, self timer, uh, selfie, include yourself in the group timer. And, and those are on the top of the camera. You can slide this over here and activate the timer function, which is somewhere between 5 and 10 seconds. There's a little slider down here that will activate a uh, two-stop overexposure so that if your subject is severely backlit and you're afraid that the front of your subject is going to be underexposed, you can flip this little window here and this is the battery check right here and it's got a pretty nice viewfinder I don't know if you can see in there it's got uh, if I put something down here I don't know does that uh, help uh, it's, it's got frame lines maybe you can see the frame lines in there over on the right hand side there's kind of like an indicator for where your shutter speed is going to be. Uh, this is an aperture priority so I don't know if you can see the needle there. 
uh, indicating what the shutter speed is going to be. Anyway, you, you, you set the aperture to be what your aperture is, what you want the aperture to be. Uh, for 90% of the pictures that I was uh, taking today, I was uh, probably shooting at f16, uh, sometimes f11. I think I might have stopped down to f or uh, opened up to f like 5.6 once, but that was pretty rare. Most of them were at f16. And I think that's pretty much the the top of the camera. Uh, well, we have the hot shoe right 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 here. There's like a little hot shoe cover, and then you have your uh, little rewind lever right here. When you flip up your rewind lever, there's a little arrow right on the inside of the top there telling you which direction to uh, rewind your film in. This is the exposure counter right here so that after you take an exposure this will uh, increment. It's a, a two stroke so one stroke and then a second stroke both advances the film and cocks the shutter and this is the shutter release right here and then this little button I believe tells you whether your shutter is charged and ready to take a photo or if it is if it has been discharged and you need to uh, cock your shutter and back of the camera um, pretty plain again the shutter film advance lever right there. Your, your viewfinder is right there. Sides of the camera are uh, fairly bare. Uh, this is your uh, part of your film advance lever right there. The, the bottom of the camera, uh, you can set your ASA here. Uh, right here is your tripod mount and here is the release button for your shutter charging shut, uh, film advance lever uh, you just have to depress it it stays depressed and then you can pop this up and rewind your film you don't you don't have to keep that pressed in and then once you close the back uh, it'll, it'll go ahead and allow you to film advance and take a picture this right here is the release button uh, lever for the for the back. You just go ahead and throw that over the side. It'll show red to let you know that the film back has been unlocked. Take the film back off. There's your pressure plate right there and your typical uh, film back looking take up reel over here. And then you just put this back on the little rails and slide it back into the camera and then throw the little lever over and your back is now securely locked and whenever you remove the back and put it back on your exposure indicator resets and that's going to be pretty much it I think for the Minox 35 GT we took a roll of film we loaded it into the camera, we ran around the block, shot a roll of film, and I will be taking that film and tacking it on to the end of this video. So at this time I'd like to say thanks for tuning in, hope you enjoyed the show. This is Crusader Rabbit, KBNY 5962, ending our broadcasting day. Good night, campers. <laughs>